Hello YouTube, this is uh, Leroy Jenkins, and in today's video we shall be doing science. Um, so, for all you science people out there, uh, fuck. Sorry I have a shaky hand, but, um, homozygous, like, if you know your, tr uh, um, alleles, you determine uh, if they're homozygous or heterozygous by doing the following things. So first, what you want to do is I'll put you down real quick and I'll do the answer because I only have two hands. So what you want to do is make uh, two Punnett squares, all right? One that's homeozygous, which has both the same trait, like uppercase T, uppercase T. So that's what I'm doing right now. And, uh... And cross it with a heterozygous, uh... Entity. So that would be uppercase T, lowercase T. Or B, or whatever. So what do you want... So what you want to do is... Put them all together, and the first one should look like you know, should look like this. You have big T, big T, big T, little T. So you cross. And these two are both uh, homozygous, and these two are heterozygous. Now, the bigger T is supposed to be, like, I have guinea pigs for this one. So, the uppercase one is the dominant one. So, no matter what, it's going to be black. If it was uh, homozygous... But, I'll put you down again. If, um, you cross it with a heterozygous, uppercase T, lowercase T, uppercase T, lowercase T, you get what I believe, if I have it correct, should end up like this. Uh, homozygous, uh, dominant, heterozygous, uh, heterozygous, and, uh, homozygous, um, recessive, and dominant is, like, the better one, and recessive, recessive, you have to have both, in order to have it be like that, so I have a one in four chance, one in four chance of getting a white guinea pig. So that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you want to, you can subscribe or like, but you can also share if you want to. But anyways, thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video.